hello welcome to my youtube channel this is emmanuel khan i especially welcome you all to the emmanuel khan wealth building youtube channel on this channel i share my thoughts and, and, and information on how to earn in dollars online forex trading cryptocurrency wealth building ideas and opportunities so if you love such content do well to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell so that when i post new content you'll always be notified immediately then please do well to share this video and uh, share the channel to other people as well like the video too so youtube can help other people see it we have been dealing on uh 28 days whatsapp live and money series with him account today is day two we began yesterday if you haven't watched the video for day one is on uh, i'll leave the description uh, the, the the link in the description below hit on it and go watch it all right today is day two and we're continuing for the next 28 days we'll be, we're making I'll, I'll be posting videos every single day to uh help you learn to help you get new ideas new information that will boost your year 2022 all right once again i welcome you to my youtube channel without wasting more time let's dive into the lesson for today see you on the other side so today we are looking at easy mistakes you are currently making that can hinder your growth this year 2022 easy mistakes i mean they are they look harmless all right they're easy to make easy to commit all right but they can harm your growth this year 2022 all right like i always do i have my notes scripted every single thing i'm going to be teaching on this video i have them scripted on my note because i don't want to leave any stone unturned all right i don't want to take chances at all i want to make sure i i give out all that i'm supposed to give out okay now i want to ask you a question what are the things that you did all through last year that you are still doing now i want you to check now if you are repeating same activities same way uh, you did them last year if you're hanging out with the same people you hung out with last year okay you are holding on to the same habits that you held on to last year practicing same things holding on to same convictions uh, and all that now if you are doing these same things that you did last year then you you are expecting your 2022 to be like your 2021 all right uh, 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 an author said it's only an insane man that keeps doing the same thing the same way all the time and keeps expecting a different result. It doesn't work that way. All right. So uh, the question for you is, do you like how your life ended or was last year? Number one. Number two, are you comfortable and okay with all that you were able to achieve last year financially, spiritually, uh, uh, family wise? personal wise business wise on your job you name it all right are you comfortable with what you were able to achieve last year the number three question do you want to repeat same results that you had last year are you joyful are you excited about repeating the same result you had last year so if 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 there was going to be a repeat of last year and, and people and you were picked and you were asked if you want them to repeat Pete and replay all you had and all that happened to you last year would you say yes i want it if your answer to these three questions is no then hey you have to change the routine you have to change the pattern okay you have to change the things that you you were committed to last year the things that you were you were bent on doing last year you have to change the pattern the model the means and the ways you did them you have to change it now look at this there are certain mistakes you must avoid now in 2022 that uh, will help you achieve much more by December. Certain things that you must do, certain mistakes you mustn't make, certain things you must do. Okay, if you must achieve some great level of achievement come December 2022. But then there are some mistakes I want to outline. Which is, which is the reason for today's lesson. And for the next few days, I'll be listing out the, the mistakes one after the other. Now, there is one mistake I want to outline today in this video that you are already making that could hinder you greatly. And that mistake is this. You had a poor reading habit last year, 2021. And you are all, you've already carried that culture into 2022. 
you had a poor reading habit, uh, 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 score yourself on a scale of one to ten. Okay, let's let's call it let's call it one to twelve, uh, being that the year has twelve months. So from one to twelve, how would you score yourself? What would you score yourself when it comes to the books you read or reading or your reading habit or culture? So month one, January twenty twenty one, were you able to read a book? February, did you? Up to June, did you? Up to October, did you? Then down to December, did you read? How many books were you exposed to? How many books did you read? Now, some, some you, you might be the person who didn't read one at all, or you read just two, or you read just three. Now, the, 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 what I want you to note is that January is already passed. We are, we are in 2022. January is gone. Now, you, you didn't read any book again in January. You are already stylishly and easily and ignorantly unsuspectingly repeating same mistake that you repeated last year same mistake i mean before you blink your eyes we are in december 2022 this is this is february today is february 2nd, Today is february 2nd already. so before you blink your eyes man we are in december 2022 so here's what i want you to do i want you to know now when you read people's books great men they have they have outlined the finest of their ideas, the finest of their thoughts. You will find the finest of their minds embedded, hidden in their books. The finest of their mind. You know, my, uh, my, my pastor usually tells all the story how he ran into Matt Morrow. In fact, they were actually speaking in a conference together. He was one of the speakers there as well as my pastor. So when they were done uh, during the break, my pastor approached him and you know exchange pleasantries with him and uh bought every book that masmoro brought to that seminar my pastor said he bought every single one of them every single one of them so when he bought them he took uh, uh them to mars for him to you know endorse and uh, autograph so when mars saw the volume of books that my pastor bought uh, my pastor said mars screamed and shouted boy this man you are a dangerous man <laughs> my pastor was flabbergasted and I was like, how do you mean, sir? Dangerous man, what did I do? Why do you call me dangerous? Why do you say so? So he said, Max looked at him and said, you just got all my books. All right? Now you are going to know every single thing that I know. But I can't know everything that you know. Because everything that I know, I have put in these books. But I can't know everything that you know. So you are going to know the ones that you know. Added to the ones that I know, man, that's, that's, that you're great. That's why I say you're great. You're, you're a dangerous man. You get the idea now. So, great men, they have refined their minds. They have refined their ideas. They have refined their thoughts. Okay? They've sifted, filtered their life experiences, brought out the best, brought out the worst, and put them together in the book. Now, some of these great men, if you if you are opportunity to sit with them one-on-one, -on -one, the things they will tell you cannot be compared to what is in their book. They can't remember everything to tell you. But when they were writing their book, man, they were at, at, at the peak of it. They were at the highest point of, of inspiration. They were at the highest point of performance. So they scrub, scrambled together all the ideas. They had time to meditate. But if you stumble on a great man now, one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, it's, it, it, as, of, of course, it's gonna, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be blessed. Okay, you, 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 it will, he, he will impact you, but then you can't compare that impact to what you would do if you read 10 or 3 or 20 of his books. You get the idea, right? So that's the essence of reading books by great men, especially in line with what you are pursuing. If you're, you're having financial crisis, you're looking for financial uh, books on finances or books on business, okay, written by some great minds that you should read. Hope you're following. All right. So, for for example, now this month, this is the book I'm reading this month. How to win friends and influence people. How to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. All right. It's, it's my book for this month because I, I if you if you got my broadcast message today on WhatsApp and if you read my Facebook post, you know I, I made a post today and I said. Well, part of the part of my goals this year is to increase my brand influence and i know that this is part of the tools that i need hence i got it hence i got it so do well to if you don't have a re, if you didn't re, uh, read enough books that you're supposed to read last year you didn't hit your 
uh, your goals. Now hit the ground running. Today is 2nd of February. There's still plenty of time left. Okay, even though a little time has been lost, but then there is still plenty of time left. So set out your, your, your reading goals and decide that, okay, this month, this is the book I want to read. All right, next month, this is the book I want to read. Then go for it. Go for it. Don't live a readerless life. That's my English, okay? <laughs> don't live a readerless life. Don't read it. Don't live a readerless life, okay? Be given to such information and your life will transform mightily. Your life will transform drastically and mightily. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. Till I come your way again next time. By tomorrow, of course, I'll be dropping another video. All right, listing and pointing out another mistake, another easy mistake that you're making now that you didn't know that you're making, or probably you know, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know it was a mistake. Okay, all right, I'm gonna be dropping that video again tomorrow. So, uh, do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that when I upload new content, you will always uh, get them immediately, get notified immediately. All right, I remind your friend, I remind your boy, Monica. Bye for now.